Good afternoon. This is Linda K. Uh, today is Friday, August the 21st, 2020, and this is plus two number 22. And, of course, guess who just walked into the room? Mr. Buttercup. Buttercup. Say hi. He's my baby. Ancha. I love him to death. He's three years old. Three. Okay. So you got to see Buttercup. Um, this is block two number 22, and I'm sorry I haven't been making videos for a while, but things have been not so good in my neighborhood, so I've been having to deal with that. So, I am going to try to make a video every Friday. I am not working at the historical museum anymore because I'm afraid that somebody's going to walk in without no mask on and they're carrying the virus. So, I told the owners that I am no longer working there until this whole pandem pandemic is over with. I'm drinking my Pepsi on uh, my Pepsi Cola, I mean, drinking Coke on uh, my Pepsi Cola glass. And my allergies are acting up really bad, <coughs> really bad this summer. So, sneezing, coughing, sniffling. And this is Buttercup's room. So, excuse the floor because I can't keep it clean because he loves to throw his cat litter all over the place. I try to keep it swept up but like I sweep the floor five minutes later it's looking just like it does now so that's what happens when you have a three year old kitty. Okay and the weather is somewhat cool uh, we're supposed to get high humidity again, plus hot weather. And I'm not looking forward to it because I love, I love to have my windows open when it's nice and quiet. And so, hopefully the hot weather won't last very long. Okay, I have lots of things to show you. And the first one, I'm going to try to keep it in the hoop because I don't really want to take it out because I'm right in the middle of stitching on it. Uh, <coughs> it's called, see if I can find a picture of it. Hang on a second. Well. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here's what it's going to look like. And I'm doing this on 14 count white Ada. I love my 14 count Ada white. <coughs> and here is what it looked like. You can see most of it. So I got page one done. I'm working at the top of of page two. And then I just got the bottom half to do. So once I get the top of page two done, then all I got left is the bottom. And I love, love, love the colors of this. 
It is so bright, colorful, cherry looking. So that's where I'm at on this. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get this done because I love it so much because it's so colorful. So I just need to find me another colorful pattern to stitch on. And it's so easy because it's 14 count and it's bright colors and you know there's nothing hard about it. There's no back stitching, nothing like that. No quarter stitches. I love it. Okay. Let me. I know it's itches. Okay. Ugh. Okay. I started a new project as if I really need to start another project when I got like. 10 other ones as whip last UFOs. Um, I have been wanting to start this for a very, very long time. Ever there's a, a girl on uh, a, a stitcher on Instagram, and her Instagram name is Phone. Time to make this today, or something like that. And she has been working on the same project for a long time, and and I have been watching her progress on it. And the more I watch her sit on this, the more I want wanted to do it. So I broke down, bought the fabric, and I've had the pattern for a long time, and I had by <coughs> and I've had to buy some threads. I, that I did not have, but I had most of them. <coughs> Some of you guys smell smoke, and I don't know why. Um, the name of it are called Four Seasons as Heaven and Earth Designs. And the designer, the artist is J. Sek Yurka. And here is what it looked like. I usually this on this in the evening, like round, like from nine until ten thirty, eleven o'clock, sometime later than that. Excuse my child because he thinks he has to run through the room while I'm videotaping. But um, that's what the pattern, the chart looks like. I'm doing this on 18 count white Ada because due to my eyesight, I mean, I can see doing it on 25 count but I'm like draining my eye to to see the ditch even even when I'm wearing my mag, mag eyes so I decided from now on I'm gonna do all my heavenly and earth designs on 18 count white Ada because I don't have any trouble seeing I can wear my mag eyes and and I can see perfectly I'm not struggling and it's so much easier because number one, I can do the loop start. Number two, I can do the weight knots because it's double stranded thread. So the loop start, double stranded thread, the weight knots, double stranded thread. So I'm so in love with this pattern. I love my 18 count fabric, 14 count, 18 count Ada, 14 count Ada, 16 count Ada. I am so in love with Ada. I'm an Ada girl. So, with that in mind, let me hang on a second. Excuse my weight knots, but here's what I got done on it. I got 
block one done on page one. I got block number two done going down on page one. So I'm going straight down and finish this color because it's all this color and some of this green color. So this is 18 count white, 18 count Ada white fabric, doing it 2 over 1 using DMT threads full cross. I did not do the 10, the half this or 10 stitches. I did not do those for my heaven and, and earth designs. I only do full cross. And I love it because I can sit in the evening and sit just away on this, not struggling to see. I can do the loop method. I can do my weight knot method. It is so much simpler. And and thicker threads. Because I'm using two strands of threads. So this is my new start for this month. And I will continue to work on this at night while I'm sitting on my enclosed bump ports. Because there's more people quiet at night after dark most of the time. So there you go. And this, the fabric, the, this fabric size, and I got everything from my LNS, uh, House of Scissors in LaPorte, Indiana. And the fabric size is 35 by 35, so it's a square piece of fabric, 35 inches wide by 35 inches high. So it's a square piece of fabric. And I draw it in the upper left hand corner on page one. So this is my new start for this month. And here is my big vinyl plastic bag that I'm keeping keeping it in. And and this size bag. Hang on, it's 18 by 24, and I got it from my, from Amazon. And I, and I love these big, big bags. And I'm trying to find the larger, the extra large size of uh, zip black bags. And the last time I went to Walmart, they didn't have any, or at least I didn't see any, so I'm going to keep on looking for them because I like to keep my project in the big, big, huge Ziploc bags. I mean, that they are big. So I'm going to keep looking for them. So... I love my vinyl plastic bag, and they are cheap on Amazon. You can get colored what the zipper part, the colorful. You can get like blue, green, red, yellow. And, uh, but I should buy the regular ones that are just blue or black. Zippers. And they come in all different sizes. You can get even the, the small one, like for your scissors and your needles and all that stuff. And my nose itches. Okay, my next project that I've been working on, and I work on four projects a day. Believe it or not. My next project, and let me get the picture. Hang on a second. It's called Library. The bear is horrible. I call QS Library Fairy 5 Heaven and Earth Designs. 
and the art is a red nose bangle. And this is for my local library. I am making this for my local library. So this is well another heaven and earth design chart that I'm working on. And I'll be kind of glad when I get this done because I'm doing this. Oh, here it is. I'm doing this on 28 count white Zobran 1 over 1. I prefer my 18 count, but since I'm making this for the library, I don't want it huge. So, and I'm not going to take it out of the hoop. So, this is how. Uh, this is how far I'm, I got. So I am working on the red book and and then the rest of her wing on page three, I think I'm on. Hang on a second. Yeah, I'm on page three. So I'm finishing up her, her wing on page three. And so what you see is the last of her wing for page three. So I work on this a little bit every single day. So I'm doing this on 28 count white Joblin, one over one full cross. And I love this, but, and I am going to make this, I'm going to make this one again, but I'm going to be doing it on 18 count, because it will be for me, for my library, because I do have a library room, but it's a mess right now. But I'm going to, just this again, but I'm going to be doing it on 18 count. So, once I get this done, then... No more 28 count one over one. I'll do 28 count two over two, but not one over one. Because it's, it's hard to see. And I keep it in my little Ziploc bag. Because it fits. But they do make these bigger size Ziploc bags. The real large ones. If I see them again at Walmart, I'm gonna buy me like three boxes of them. Oh, and by the way, today is Flotsy Friday, and I managed to make a video on Flotsy Friday. You better mark that down on your calendar. Okay, my last whip was. Oh, okay. I thought I didn't have a format. Okay. My last whip that, I, that I'm working on. I'm only working on four, you know. Oops. I don't want to do that. That has a pattern in it. Here's what it looked like. And my patch is why I bought this as a kit from... A Joanne Fabric long, 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 long time ago. The artist and the designer of this pattern is Alan Ghana, G I A N A. And if you go on Instagram and type in his name, A L A N G I A N A, you will find his Instagram. And the pictures that he takes, oh, it, it's just gorgeous. So, here is what I have done on, and of course, for this, I ran out of one stain of thread, and it's the most used one. 
on that pattern at DMT number 3011. And I looked in all of my project bag, didn't have one skein of 3011. So I had to order some. Plus, I ordered some other thread. Plus, I ordered three packs of side 24 needles, either Peacemakers or, or a Bowen. So, here is where I'm at on this. Now, I'm doing this on the fabric came, came with the kit. I'm using my own DMC thread because it does have the conversion for the DMC threads. I'm doing a 2 over 1 full cross. And everything is done up at the top. Everything. The fence line is completely finished, or I think it's their fence line or their bridge thingies. That is com completely finished. The grass and stuff around the fence pole, I'm gonna call it fence pole. The grass. Okay, there we go. The grass and stuff around the fence pole is completely finished. The sailboat is completely finished. The top of the water is completely finished. And of course, everything on this, on this right here is all done too. So, my next fun thing to stitch is the wreath, and it's going to be a pain in the neck to stitch because it's all confetti stitching, and it goes right here. That's where the wreath is. So, once I get the wreath done, <laughs> once, excuse my child, um, <laughs> Once I get the wreath done, then all I got left to do on this is the rest of the water going across toward the lighthouse, and then the grass and the sand. That's it. So once I get the wreath done, then the work part of it is going to be all done. I still got to get that wreath done. So I ordered my threads yesterday. And they're in the mail, so I should get them tomorrow or Monday at the latest, because it only takes about two days to get it, so. Because I don't live a half hour from my LNS, so. So, yeah, once I get the wheat done, that will be smooth sailing the rest of the way. And I love this. And, and... My pastor asked me to to this this for her because she couldn't see the digit, and so she asked me if I would. And I told her yes. So I'm trying to get it done as soon as I can. So, cause she she had one room that had nothing but all lighthouses and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get it done for her. So I'm just waiting on that one skein of thread. And then I'm back at it again. So this is my fourth whip. And, and I'm not working on this one right now until I get my threads. I just need my 3011. And of course, I keep it in this bag. Okay, those are all of my whips that I have that I'm working on. And my grass is getting a sweating. Okay, I got some haul, well, sort of haul. Okay, there is a stitcher by the name of Rita 
Marie Disney Adventures. She's on YouTube. And I will try to link her channel down below in the description box. And she does, she did, she makes a video teaching this series that I'm about ready to show you. And she, she, the video goes up every Friday morning. And I faithfully watch her videos every single Friday on this series. And it's called Frosty Forest. And it's by Country Cottage Needleworks. And so far I got six of them. And I will be ordering the last three next month. There, there's nine to this series. Nine charts to this series. And I'm not sure what order they go in. Because I don't have it marked. But I will show them to you one by one. Okay, this one of course Snowy Deer. And it's by Country Cottage Needleworks. There's the next one. Raccoon Cabin. No man cot yeah no, no man's cottage no friends no boxes. And Bluebird Cabin. And then, like I said, there's three, of, there's three that I still got to get yet. So I will be getting the next month. And then that will be it. And I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing this on one piece of fabric. 14 count light blue. So... That way, the white will show up, brown will show up, the darker color will show up. And I am so excited because I can't wait till I start these. And I'm keeping all of them in the little quarter plastic bag that I got from my, from my, um, all in it when I got something one time. So, this is going to be my new start next month. I just have to get the last three, number seven, number eight, number nine. And you can buy these from 123 Stitch or from your LNS. And I'm going to be doing mine on 14 count light blue Ada. Or maybe a little bit. Darker blue. I haven't decided yet. So I just need the the uh, the last three patterns of this and my fabric, and I should have all the threads because I got one complete set of all the DMT threads. And so I've been buying like three of them per month or so, cause they are like five something a piece. So you know if you take five times five that time five bucks or so plus tax and all that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> I should have brought up the Wilson but I didn't. Um next <coughs> next time I will. Um this pattern there's four of them. 
Excuse me while I get a drink. Okay, there are four to the series, four patterns. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. I got all four of them. I bought them a long time ago from one, two, three, six. And the one that I decided that I'm going to start working on next month was one, one more new start, right? Uh, actually, I will have two new starts. My Frosty Fort <coughs> and this. Um, that's not called Spring. As Heart of the Stitcher. As by... Adrenaline uh, Corp. And this is called Spring Sampler. And I have been wanting to start this for a long, long time. So I just need to get my 28 count fabric because there is like um, quarter stitches, back stitching, and maybe some half stitches. I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna start with spring, and and then I'll you know paint this, and I'll do summer paint that, do autumn paint that, do winter and paint that. Cause I really really want to do. do do these. So, and next Friday when I make my video, I'll I will show the rest of them. So that is all I have to show you. And I hope that all of you are staying safe, wearing your mask when you go out in public places, and. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate all of you. And please feel free to ask questions. Feel free to leave comments. I love to read your comments. I love talking to you down below in the subscription box. So... My plans now is to continue working on my on the four that I showed you. And then next month I will start the frosty forest and the spring sampler. And then so that'd be four or five. So I'll be working on six projects a day. And believe me, I can do that because I'm up on 7 o'clock in the morning until about 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. So, I can stitch on six projects per day. I think that is it for this video. And I love you all. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Stay well. And I will see you next Friday in my next video. I promise. Finger crossed, I promise. Because I'm not working at the historical museum anymore. So that freed me up. So I will see you next Friday in my next video. Thank you so much. Love you all. Bye.